What's up, Internet? Turn 1776 here with a quick video for you. So, and it's, it's going to be quick because it's getting dark out. I get stuff in the mail, right? People send me stuff to try out, test, submit things to go in the battle box. I got this today. I looked at it and I was like, hmm, it's kind of interesting. So, checked it out, messed around with it for a second. I was like, this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to run out here real quick and show it to you. Trying to get out here away from the critters because the donkey's gonna start baying and goats start neighing and crap like that and messes up my video. So I want to know what you guys think about it. So leave down in the comments below after the video what you think about it. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of bushcrafty. It's something that you can use in a survival situation to help you start a fire. Y'all know how I feel about fire lighting devices. I love them. I love having multiple ways of starting fire and having multiple skills and doing that. This is just one of those things that goes with that. Nonetheless, here it is. It's the Atomic Bear Fire Wand. It's really cool. I already was playing with it, so it's already kind of charred here on the end, but you get a pretty good length. I don't know, that's maybe two and a half, three foot of like pretty thick jute twine. And it's got this tube, as you can see, that it goes through. So it's kind of like a trench lighter but it doesn't have its own device, you know, to create the heat or the sparks to light it. You have to have another source. I've got my ExoTac um, ferrocerium rod here with the duct tape, like the rip spool and all, it's pretty cool, yeehaw. So let's say in a survival or bushcraft or camping situation, you wanna start your fire, or you wanna start something um, to light up, to boil some water, whatever it is. So one way you can use this is just set it down like this Take your ferro rod. And get it lit. And then you can take this, stick it into your tender bundle or whatever, and get your fire going, kind of like a candle or a match. And then when you're done with it, you simply push that up. It snuffs it out. And you're done. You put it in your pack. And it's ready to go again another time. Camera's having trouble focusing. It's getting dark out here. Another way you can do it is you can hold hold it in one hand like this. See if I can do it. light it this way there we go light it like that I think it's pretty cool I mean it, it's a lot like a trench lighter obviously and it's somewhat bush crafty you know you got all the people in the comments of well, won't you just use a lighter or use a match and yeah you can totally do that but some of us like having fun starting our fires and let's face it, sometimes lighters fail. A good old ferrocerium rod, doesn't matter. Cold, wet, whatever. It'll throw sparks. You got a way to catch those sparks in a super damp situation. If you don't have any other tender on you or whatever, you got this little guy right here you can have wrapped up with plenty of jute twine on it in your pack next to your ferrocerium rod. And you got a pretty cool little way to start a fire. So. I kind of dig it, but I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think about this little atomic bear fire wand or wick, fire wick, or whatever you want to call it. They call it the fire wand. So let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, I'm going to run inside and eat. But I uh, got that in the mail today. Figured I'd share it with you. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that fun stuff. And yeehaw. From current 1776 and Battle Box out here in the woods last minute before it gets dark.